afternoon all. I thought I hadn't done one of these for a while, so I thought I'd show you my food haul for two weeks worth. Um, except for I do get more tofu. I'll probably go through three of those every couple of weeks. But I go past the store once a week, so I just get the tofu there and then as I go past. And the other thing that's not here is my nutritional yeast, which is also at the same store that I go past. I also get organic soy. If you're going to consume soy, make it organic. But yeah, so um, this is feeding off from the last time I did a foodie haul post, which is around in bulk, I think, in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, I've it's taken me a while to, to settle and get on top of everything I need to do after moving and all that sort of jazz. Um, so I knew my food would suffer a little bit, probably have too much green starch carb and not enough veg. <laughs> you start to get a bit slack and you don't get much sleep because you just got too much to do. Um, so I've sort of corrected that a little bit. Um, it was going to become a habit otherwise, and that's not a habit I'm used to having. So, basically, um, with the food haul I got here, it's whole plant based, not just vegan. So, instead of white rice, have wholemeal rice. Um, instead of white bread, have wholemeal bread, which I, I do that anyway. Um, same with pasta, I was for a while just treat like partly slack, <laughs> partly treating myself or just experimenting. I was buying a pasta which was high fibre because it's made half of wheat flour and half with oat. But it's still, I mean if you look at your quantities, you've got 6.4 grams of fibre per serve. Whereas if you look at the... I should have compared, compared the spaghetti -o. whereas with the wholemeal you have it's been a while since I looked at these values so sorry, I can't remember them off the top of my head is 11 so you've got nearly double the amount of fibre in the wholemeal and really you can't have enough fibre uh, just make sure you drink a lot of water or you'll, you'll be backed up <laughs> and make sure that your fiber is also coming from veggie and fruit sources you want at least half of your fiber sources coming from vegetables um, so make a switch to wholemeal pasta if you can you can also make your own with just with wholemeal flour and water you do not need to add egg and oil and all that it's actually quite disgusting when you've had pasta with egg and then you go pasta just mixed with water it tastes really nice and then you try one with egg one day this is before I... oh sha <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry my cat sort of <laughs> tried to jump on the table oh <laughs> you want a chair honey here you go here you go go up on chair here you go Come on, it's okay, no one saw you fall on your ass. <laughs> Sorry, I digress. Um, yeah, so, and then I went back to trying a pasta which had egg in it, and this is before I became vegan, and oh my god, it was so disgusting. It was actually tasted really bad. Oh, you're such a camera hog. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so... While I'm here, I'm going to go over roughly what my food fare is and what I've got. Um, some of my staple foods. So when it comes to fruit, I have to have bananas and oranges. Um, the other staple veg I have to have is, <laughs> hey you, is mushrooms and a green leafy of some sort, be it kale, broccoli, silver beet. Um, also herbs, all my herbs haven't really fully established yet so I'm having to buy them which I don't really like. Um, I like making pizza with eggplant and, and sweet potato slices and onion. And ginger is the other thing that I have as a staple. I like steaming it with my tofu and making a tofu burger with a big bowl of salad. That's usually my, my lunch fare. 
And the other thing I have is a avocado. I have half a small avocado a day and I blend it to make it into a creamy dressing and I use that on my salad. Um, another little interesting tip is, you know, especially for us people, okay, sure, I know, uh, for us who like long hair and healthy hair, is you always get the, the, the vitamin B called bite and ram down your throat and like only eggs are good sources etc but just so you know one small onion has more biotin than an egg without the fat and I would rather have a sauteed onion in water on a non-stick pan into my pasta sauce than an egg I mean that's just awesome one of these so just throw, throw that tip in there. So the other thing I, I do have every day is pasta. Whether I make it fresh, I do have pasta every day with tomato puree or, um, or a sauce. Puree is more condensed. Um, I just make sure I get jars which don't have anything added to it, only salt. Um, watch the sugar content. Sugar's not bad. It's not, it's not as bad as fat or animal protein sources. But, you know, if I'm going to have sugar, I want sugar. I don't want it hidden in my food. <laughs> so my average daily fare is I love having toast in the morning with peanut butter. If I have to watch my fat intake because I'm manipulating my physique in some sort of way. I like using PB2 which doesn't have the fat. It's the powder that you mix into a peanut blend. Um, I like having that with pure blueberry jam or blackberry jam um, which is sweet. It's made with pectin. It doesn't have any gelatin in it so it's vegan. I have a couple oranges as well with that and a soy mole. So soy moles, if you have a look at my blogs, I love having a um, tablespoon, this is one of my essentials as well, a tablespoon of blackstrap molasses in boiling water and then I pour half a cup of soy milk on there and it curdles like a little volcano and it just tastes and smells yummy and all malty. Um, it's actually a good source of iron so it's one of the reasons why I like having a couple of oranges or something with vitamin C in that meal so I can better absorb the iron that's in the molasses. Um, also, when it comes to bread, I prefer to make my own, but if I'm still struggling with time, I do get this one. It's wholemeal, it's got extra fiber added to it. And what you will find is many of the breads will actually be fortified with vitamin B1 and B3 and iron. So it sort of takes the load off of your, your B vitamins intake, you know, having to ground where you get this vitamin, that vitamin, um, and it's an extra source of iron, so people don't usually notice that or realise that, that you can count that as part of your allotment of the day. If I, if I don't have toast in the morning, I'll have a bowl of oats with a dob of um, peanut butter, uh, sesame seeds, or chia seeds, uh, dates, and pretty much everything I would have put on my toast, I put in my oatmeal bowl. Um, but when it's hot, it's not something I really like to have. Mid-morning, I have two bananas thrown in a shake with half a cup of soy, which is, of course, organic, with a couple of dates in there to sweeten. If I want more sugar, I add more dates, and I blend that up. That's usually my mid-morning. Lunch, I usually have a, a toasted sandwich or I'll have a cooked grain like millet with tofu and a massive bowl of salad. And one of the things that I think people struggle with with eating whole foods and plant-based is preparation of food and time. You know, we're so time poor these days. And what I will do is I'm going to attach to this blog, vlog, <laughs> a blog with info on how I go about prepping my foods and this is a trick 